Hello, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. Um, I hope you're having a good day. I thought I'd come and say hello, communicate. On the, uh, I hope you feel there's a great change on the horizon and there is new energies that are affecting everybody and we're all ascending. It's all affecting. We don't want to resist the change and it is important. And... Um, for, for it's like it's about finding out what it is we're holding on, what it is we're afraid of letting go. There is a lot of things that we're going to need to let go anyway. So uh, what are we holding on? It's like, what is it too much? Uh, it's like uh, to, to liberate the program, to breathe in the prana, the, 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 the light of God, and expire the love and, and, and creativity and, and, and energy flows of the universe. So it's like being in this breath. To allow God to, to love to grow within, and um, and to to work with, it. like there is many frequencies of light we can work on. It's like this. There is also this, uh, which is a good transitional flame. It is a uh, it is purple and and pink. It, it, so it, so it's got the the pink love and conditional love of the mother as well as the transmuting power of the violet fire. So it's it's a really nice frequency. Call on that light and invoke that light. Say to, to to imagine this light is like englobe yourself. Let yourself be burned within the light of, of God. Those are the things we we'll learn to do to cleanse ourselves when we need to in the future or now if we can. To to the, well, we're getting the result as we activate more higher potential. In, in spiritual consciousness, when we get to the mid, the sacred flame activate at the mid part of the fourth dimensions, where the dreams become the, the imagination, the, the feeling the, the becomes mostly positive. Um, then it increases it, as the dimension grows all the way to the, the sixth dimension. And, uh, Maybe, maybe beyond, actually, I don't know, I'm not sure. But uh, fifth and sixth dimension, they increase in intensity and, and, and potency. And we'll need the, the, to utilize the violet, the violet fire mostly, but all the, the sacred fire, the blue fire as well, for the transmutation of all the energies on the planet and the earth, all the negativity. Uh, personally, I expect great personal breakthrough as well as you should, we should expect revelation on, on the, the mediatico political stage of the planet. It, um, some, but a lot of revelation yet it has to come in in a, in a gradual way to, so it can be integrated because it wants to we want to enlighten but not to blind at first when you discover this light you you, you shroud the information to people that are completely blind to it it's like a, um, but then you calibrate the information so they can be integrated and so um so you want to enlighten, but you don't want to blind people with too much information. They will all find out what they need to at the right time. It's just instrumental in assisting them in that process. For for the the dark and the light um, have to find balance and harmony within themselves rather than be enemies. The the, the devil and, and the God, God and the devil, the, the good and bad, the, 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 the pure and the impure, the, all of that. Uh, we have to find peace and harmony to reach the Tao. Um, see, uh, so yeah, and be proactive and aware, huh, and to 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 uh, to stop vehiculing negative energies, to stop communicating, sharing all the news of the matrix with other people. They'll find out what they need to at the right time. Just communicate on positive, loving energy instead, it, it, because it's like it's really slowing down the whole process. Huh? It's like we have to discern. It's like to be very, very selective. It doesn't mean that we cannot watch certain things, but don't not communicate. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, whether you do whatever you want, but but sharing social media to share on social media, it has. To to be only love and light because otherwise it's like it, it's it's like being um it, it's been used by the the, the matrix and um and so, so just trust God, trust the Creator, the plan of the Creator. It's so subtle, we don't see it. It's like God is the most, it's the non-being, the absolute non-being. It's the most invisible. The paradise deities are everywhere, but they're, they're completely invisible to all the celestial intelligence. They don't see that. Huh? They, they, the archangel, they rely on the Father, Mother, God of the universe. They don't rely on the paradise trinity. It's just, they, 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 it's a force beyond. But but there, there is so, so much conglomerate of intelligence that the universe is actually so so much more perfect than we think and so much more grandiose and bigger and 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 and, and so the multi-dimensional um, multiverse the seven super universes of time and space that are presently unfolding 
and we're at the edge of the seven super universe at the end of the end of the end of the, of the creation so it's very very cutting edge the teachings that we get right? it's like the more um, it's important to be when we're not in love and light we have to redirect our focus towards that um, and uh, and so be only in light, always and only within this frequency of light and love eventually that's what we we're learning uh, peace happiness and freedom to imagine that to see that to live that as much as possible for all and to imagine it for all people for the whole planet peace happiness and freedom and so um, because all souls are exactly where they need to be where they are right? so it's like it's, sometimes we feel like uh, some people are better they're, they're in better place than we are but we're exactly where we need to be to come into our, uh, our uh, empowerment understand that there is no deed that goes unpunished and and nothing is uh, is unwatched by spirit right sees everything and so just can relax about things just to continue to use self-forgiveness for all the uh, because we're carrying a lot of dirt in terms of uh, baggages and judgment and et etiquettes on, that we put on people that we ne negative energies we have to 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 pass the circumstances to people and all of that we need to clear up in order to enter into the heavens that are waiting for us but we need to get rid of all those baggages forgiveness is very important and also accepting the change we have to some people resist the change because it's like the comfort zone will be gone but one person is in his i am presence can is more can change the world in one day i've seen it i've done it i've, I've been there it's like the i am presence is so powerful imagine that there is a Many people in their I am presence in seven days could just transform the world like uh, in, in more than but it has to it has to come in a way that uh, can be integrated by the collective consciousness as well but for advices are good but they they have to be uh, both uh, uh, ethereal spiritual advice are good but it's good to be practical so for me it's like more difficult to to be practical on the earth than to connect to the higher planes of spirit right at this point well it's always been like this but um, so it's like uh, we have the we have to have the strength to oppose everything that's corrupted uh, it's very important to be proactive in that whether it is uh, some people it's like through speech so like, I, I don't give my consent other people will be through actions uh, um, personally I, the most powerful way i know is the alignment of heart and mind and soul and spirit the will of god that uh, that makes it change that oppose it that prevents it that, that solves it it's like when we can align all those energies perfect solutions are found we don't we don't always find it of course but um, well i hope this message was interesting for you i thank you so very much for your for your for your donations it's really helping me right now i'm on the last lap of a marathon and it's like i want to just continue to breathe um but it is very very close so it's like everything uh, thank you for supporting the channel i'm going to pull out some oracle and do some oracle time uh, see uh, what uh, the energies of the day is could be I had this deep soul connection and it's like which is very complicated but it's like uh, it's um it, it's um it was quite amazing quite surprising i don't know if i should talk about it this is, I talked about it in the French video, but it's, this point. it's kind of personal. It's interesting because whatever the deepest it is, the deepest we feel something within ourselves, the more um, the more uh, the, the more meaningful it is, the more real it is for us. And it's where there is like, like it's like the money is there. Huh? It's like so just go for that. It's like it's like aligning, and it's like this is with someone I, I just I don't know like something I met on the internet. Uh, year ago and, and but then we, we, we the connection at some point the connection became a lot more like a soul connection that was revealed or oh, some very intimate personal thing about our past lives and soul history and like but, but for me it was completely a no-go from the start it's like not for me it's like it's way too unavailable and, and and it's like the conditions were not there but if, so i traveled the circle of hell then i start to accept it i climbed the mountain of purgatory and I, I saw her once i had this connection with her on paradise and i know on paradise i'm gonna have everything i need it's like the right now she's like a princess on a dungeon with a with, with a dragon and it's like i, I 
I'm like the knight in shining armor that needs to, to, to free her. But, but I don't have my armor or my horse now. It's on the other side of the gates of paradise, which are close to me. So, so it's helping me with my, my, my alignment because uh, to, to know she, she's made this amazing declaration of love to me. It was like, well, I was trying explaining to her what I, what I felt about this whole connection. which was like three days later. Oh, interesting. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. When do we meet? But I can't really receive her right now. So it's like, uh, so I have, to, I have to make a wait. And, uh, but I, it's good to know that she feels exactly the way this, I feel about her, that she feels about me. It's, uh, although the situation is extremely complicated because we're not together and she's got a very, uh, very, very uh, bizarre life. And it's like, well, when you love somebody, you have to love uh, the person with all her energies. Right? You cannot say I like this. Uh, for, for it's like at the beginning, it was like hell. I just, just no way. It's like, just, it's not for me. But um, I, ca I came around that and hopefully this will turn the potential, the, turn the connection into a potential. Spirit has revealed to me that we're supposed to have children. And those children are very important for both France and Russia, for the future of the, of the world, uh, because she's Russian. So um, the... Um, the observer of the day is the thinker. Right? It's really to have plans. Right? We need to put things into manifestation. So the plans have to be ready, to be flexible enough. But but have plans ready, plan A, plan B, plan C, or it can just be a plan that is uh, that is that is multifaceted. The highest wisdom is the observer to be able to be detached emotionally and to be just the observer. Otherwise, the I can be thrown into a roller coaster of, uh, of things. For me, it's what happens. And uh, so the why I do those reading, I hope they they resonate with you because they, they I feel they're reflecting a bit of my mood as well. Huh? It's like the um, the highest the, what we need to understand is to let go of all the dramas, all that to say, all that is drama. It's like no, no, thank you. I I, I don't. It's nice. It's a never ending story. It's called. What we need to do is to go far and to prepare ourselves for this marathon. To it's really like a, it's a long. We've been through a long, a long run, and now it's coming to an end. And there is a new one that's going to start. Life is an ongoing journey. It's, an, it's eternal, but we will be much more comfortable in the next cycle. So the um, and and the outcome is the young guys, the divine blue ray of of, uh, of Michael. It's the, the 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 will of the Father God. It's the integrity. It's the the the, action, the, the intelligence in action. And so um, I'll pull some more. I'll, I'll pull. Let's see with the Akash. For the Akash is very important. All the soul connections, as those people I have an old soul connections that is coming back to like right now. It's uh, it's interesting because the, the, there is like it feels like there is a reunion in terms of the soul level of the soul family, the deep connections like uh, extended family. And then there is the cousins and all kinds of things. But but there is like this this deep uh, we have uh, we were created as soul groups. And love is the bond that connects the soul, right? because in truth there is only one soul, it is the soul of God. Hmm. <laughs> the observer of the day is romantic life. I'm really looking forward to, to returning to coming out of my exile to be a more... Well, I'm telling I'm being romantic with this person, although it's like on the tech, it's like, uh, it's like on, the, on the screen, and, uh, and the, through the personal uh, chat. Um, the, the, what we need to the, the highest wisdom is uh, persecution and inquisition. We have to liberate ourselves from that. We have to be sovereign. We have to to to, to overcome all that. And what we need to understand, we have the same card as in French. Is what we need to understand is that we're never alone. It's the orphans. We never, never, never can be alone. There's always God and a plethora of angels and spirit beings, and it's like they all like. Is he ever gonna see us, <laughs> or is she gonna ever see us? We, we, it's like they're always there, and so, so it's like a, to, 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 to reclaim this connection to, to the eternal love of the source. And same card as in French. So we're, I'll talk about Atlantis a little bit. Atlantis was a, a, an old civilization that two hundred thousand years of. Um, of golden age, and there was the deluge. And at some point, uh, the master Orlet called on the mighty messengers that created this. Because the, 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 there was ten kingdoms originally. Ten kingdoms. It was an effort to to reunite all the tribes and uh, factions that came from extraterrestrial uh, colonizations to, to create one society of the most advanced souls of, on the planet. And so Atlantis was the most advanced. Um, civilization that's that's ever been on the physical third-dimensional plane here on the planet, 
as far as I know. And um, and so for, for like a very long time, everything was so wonderful. It was like it was like a huge continent, and like the, the, at the center there was the te the master temple, and and, uh, and there was the ten kingdoms. And, and but then after, some human, some human in the kingdom tried made some blood sacrifice and drew on demons from from the depths, and, and that uh, the master had to react, and everything the deluge, uh, everything was shattered. Then there was five islands, and the last five thousand years, that's really the, the there is great great deal of memory there as well as um, there is the, the there were uh, five islands uh, they were dominated by the Diatlara which was a um, a matriarchal civilization and the Aryan and the sons of Belial that were patriarchal militarist and corporatist. The, the Aryans controlled the, the engine of production so in the Altlara control all the technologies and um, we incarnated in both civilizations. It was, it was just the way it was. But but on, on, on but the, with the Atlara, we, we were living thousands of years within each physical body. We had everything. It was paradise. It was really a, there were temples of learning, of healing, of, uh, of there, there was all kinds of. There was the, the Emerald City. It was no longer all it. There was overseeing the, the the development of the civilization. It was um, it was uh, an Atla um, uh, it was it was um, Poseidon. Poseidon was it, the, the central city. Was called Poseida. It was the, the Emerald City. It was like it was just this beautiful and the, the statue of maybe we'll find this statue of uh, of, of Poseida that was on Atlantis. On a, it was um, it was made of um, extraterrestrial platinum and gold and jewels, and it was huge. It was like and maybe it's, it's still it's, it's somewhere sitting on the bottom of the ocean. Um, but it doesn't really matter. It's just uh, artifacts. So, so eventually, this uh, the, the Aryans managed very complex because they had to deal with each other because they were complementary they, through a very act of corruption and and very slow um, uh, intrusion through a thousand years of, of propaganda. They finally were able to be trusted by the Atlara and and been taught how to function some of the technology, and they tried to hijack the second satellite of paradise, the, the second moon of para, uh, of, of um, Atlantis, second satellite of paradise, which is uh, Sorannington. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's just like something that came out. Came out. Um, so, so they, they hijacked the, the, the it was an Arcturian crystals that was there to regulate all of the technologies. And uh, so they, they hijacked that to turn it into a weapon to fight a, a Persian empire they were in war with at the time. That was about uh, 12, 13,000 years ago. Um, no, fifteen thousand years ago, and so and so, but the satellite wasn't made for that. It exploded, and and all the fire crystal on Atlantis exploded like nuclear war. It created a huge tidal wave in Africa and uh, and uh, and South America, and then there was the, there was a great deal of traumatism in relationship to the exod of the survivors of of, of this of this Atlantis, which was so so. So wonderful though and so uh, so a lot of people still carrying traumas from that but what i remember from that is the good times i was like personally i know i had lifetimes with this person on atlantis and even before in lemuria we were already together a mother was a queen on atlantis and uh, but atlantis is like we we had all kind of powers there we had all kind of knowledge and that's within our dna and it's slowly but surely uh, being reactivated so it's good this card came out because i spoke i spoke spoke a bit about that on the French video. It's kind of nice to be able to to, to match that. Ah, we have a, a better outcome in this video, in this, this message is that the outcome will be wisdom. The, the, the world of the unicorn is a wonderful world. We all we, we all have a unicorn that's like, a, it's, it's, a, it's a bin of wisdom and, and kind of very soft kindness. And um, so, so wisdom will be the, the outcome of the process. Well, I'll pour one more, uh, then I'll sing a song. Yeah, I'm going to sing a different song that I sing in the French video. Just for. Well, we have the waves of bliss and the high priestess as the observers of the day. The highest wisdom is this, wonderful. It means like, let, let it come to you. You don't have to do anything. It's going to be happening. But regardless of what we do, it's going to be happening. So just go with the flow, just tune into the love and just let things transform. 
the what we need to understand is the Mount Meru, the center of the universe, the ability to connect to the source, because it's where the power is. It's like our ability from within our heart to, to mentally and, and to all with all our being to tune in to the center of the universe. Mount Meru was a, a mystical mountain that was connected to Shambhala. It's not a physical mountain. It's um, as far as I know. Uh, is the, which is above uh, Shambhala in the Gobi Desert, like this very sacred place where it's the, the etheric uh, place where God resides. There is a, within the mountains, there is really higher beings that resides within all the mountains. They're like gods, because that's where the cosmic energy uh, comes in first. We'll come to uh, communicate and, and be aware of all the spirits of nature eventually and all the, the great um, hierarchies. What we need to do is to be the emperor, to be within our power of power, not power of, of uh, it's the hot seat. It's really within the, our sovereign strength and power and to be, uh, to be anchored within, within our light so that we can uh, continue to follow the heart, continue to, we have to continue to stay within the spiritual path, to allow the power to, to corrupt us, which is not, we, 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 we te we've been tested enough before the power comes as light workers. There is no danger of misusing the power because we, before we're given as light worker power, uh, we, um, we, we, we've been tested. So just uh, know that you'll, you'll be fine within uh, whatever God has in store for you, you'll be fine doing it. And the outcome is mean and heavy, to be kind and not to be too mean and heavy. The world is mean and heavy, so just don't expect that in the world, but, but don't be like that. Angry. Just be the hard drop, to be the, the wisdom, to be the, the oasis in the desert. Because there are things that make us feel like ah, 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 that, that push our buttons. But until all our buttons will be pushed and everyone will be healed and all will be loved, then it will be pushed. So let's see what's on the other side. I sing this song in a French video, very Clapton, wonderful tonight. I don't want to sing that, just to find another one. With this young lady, we had two songs that connected us. One is The Wind of Change, and the other one is uh, Everything I Do, I Do It For You. Ryan Adams. It's like those songs, because I shared those songs with her, it's kind of participated in our relation. I don't know, it's kind of mysterious. It's still. Um, uh, because I had this song painted black in my. Maybe I should sing it while it's nice. It's, it's a bit unkind, it's kind of dark. I'm going to sing this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a long one. Well, I'm going to finish with a song and pull out the... pull out the, um, a few cards at the end. I thank you so very much for, for spending this, this time with me and uh, continue to cultivate your sense of connection to, to that field which is already there. God is, has already been, is already present, but you communicate to that source creation within a frequency that's been that's revealed that's your guide the, your guide should you, um, will get more implicated as time goes on which is wonderful well it's a song that uh, it's an old pop song you say i want to know what love is this song had a personal impact on, on my life on uh, in the in the 80s when i lived in los angeles but now it, it, had, it had some like new 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 there's always, love is always new it's always uh, it goes like this I gotta take a little time, a little time to think things over. I better read between the lines in case I need it when I'm older. Ooh, now this mountain I must climb feels like the world upon my shoulders. Through the clouds I see love shine, it keeps me warm when life grows all colder. In my life there's been heartache and pain, I don't know if I can face it again. Can't stop now, I've traveled so far to change this lonely life. I want to know what love is, I want you to show me, I want to feel what love is, I know you can show me, oh, I gotta take a little time, 
a little time to look around me. I've got nowhere left to hide. It looks like love has finally found me. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. Can't stop now, I've traveled so far to change this lonely life. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. I know you can show me. I want to feel, I want to feel what love is. I know, I know you can show me. Let's talk about love. I want to know what love is. The love that you feel inside. I want to know what love is. I'm feeling so much love. I want to feel what love is. No, I just can't hide. I want to know. I want you to show me. I want to know. I want to know what love is. Let's talk about love. I want to know what I know you can show me. Un peu longue. Ah, ouais, belle, belle chanson. Ça me, ça me rappellera toujours un souvenir de Los Angeles, cette chanson. C'est une anecdote très bizarre, je ne vais pas raconter ici. Parce qu'on a une vidéo trop longue, elle est déjà assez longue. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm speaking French. Euh... The highest with the, the observer of the day is determination. To stay very determined. The highest wisdom is, um, is apprenticeship. What we need to understand is unity. What we need to do is healing. And the outcome is forgiveness. I think that doesn't really need uh, additional comment. I'll put one more card. And I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this day. I'm going to try to go out a little bit. A new angle, it's really a lot, the old is disempowered, and it's really the Archangel Samuel. A better way of doing things, time for reflection, dare to be different. So it's really the letting go, and the letting go of all those, uh, those situations. Then comes the page of Raphael, which is um, unconditional love, uh, gentle, loving, dreamer, sincere. And it says the, the situation gives birth to new emotions new relationships or invitation to an event your intuition is saying much so, so just continue to follow your heart follow the new new energies right? it's like um, we're really close to point of freedom even though sometimes it gets even darker right before we move on to the next next step but uh, but i hope you, you find this message interesting and i'm, I'm, and I, I'm looking forward to to coming back to uh, with some good news hopefully very soon thank you very much namaste well those were good news but uh, but, but big transformation on the other side of the of the after the corner on the other street thank you very much namaste <laughs>